didn't drive this any more than I did before I changed that. Okay guys, I picked a nice cold day for this, and I didn't drive this thing around and let it get the fluid warm, but what we're doing is this Dana 80, I'm going to pull this back cover off, it's been off before, but you can see the fluid is disgusting. I've already got the transmission up there draining, I'm going to refill it, I'm using Lucas. Uh, 75 140 to to refill everything so right now let's get this cover off so we can get it drained because trying to suck it out with one of these little suction guns isn't cutting it looks like it's had water in it either way it's not good Get the drill and the wire brush.
Extremely cold. Alright. So we got a nice clean cover. Other than that little spot. It's carried in the shop. So it can dry. Woo! Go warm up my fingers too. Before I go pouring it in. Transmission should already be done draining. I can probably go ahead and put the plug in that. I don't know why I just shut that door. side plug's gonna be to get off. But I think we're fixing to find out. I was worried the transmission was empty. I've been using this truck and I haven't been really able to get everything done to it I needed. I've been working a little here and a little there and I remembered he had one of these covers well the truck originally had a PTO to run the hydraulics for the wrecker bed I don't remember if it's this cover or the one on the other side. I'm going to say it was probably that one on that side. Anyways, the cross members, yeah, i got to fix it too. Anyhow, he took the PTO off and put the cover plate back on it. So in order to do that, it probably drained the transmission out of damn near every bit of oil it had. And I thought, ooh, I wonder <laughs> if he ever filled it. Which I figured he did, and he did. So, luckily, I didn't have to worry about that, but, I mean, as much as I've drove this thing, I've put about 700 miles on it, and it's like, oof, if that thing didn't have oil in it, it would have burned up by now. Let's see, I think that's the same size. I hope it is anyways. The other way, yeah, it is. Hopefully it comes loose. Oh, Jesus. Right. Oh my God. Now, why do people put stuff so tight? Oh, dang. There's no need of that. Wow. Okay. So, let's stop right here. 
Whew. Can't believe that thing was that dang tight. Let's stop right here and I'm gonna go get some more brake clean to flush out that rear end. You can see this transmission mount is severely compromised. I don't know if they had this cut out when they did the wrecker bed, but if they did, I can't believe they did that crappy of a job. Because I know it had a PTO pump, had lines or something that run back here. I think I still have the cable somewhere to actually engage the PTO pump. I don't have the PTO pump. I will have it. I guess whenever I go back and get the wrecker bed, I, the only thing I've got so far other than the truck itself was the wheel lift that goes with the original wrecker. But I still want to get the wrecker bed because I may be able to rob some hydraulic parts off of it and and or just sell it. I mean, it's more scrap iron, but I, at this point in time, I don't really need more scrap iron because I don't have time to haul it off. And in fact, right now I actually have my scrap iron trailer with everything that's on it for sale. So it's on the marketplace. It's a 16 foot tandem axle trailer, 5,200 pound axle. If somebody wanted to uh, buy a cheap trailer to, like me, to haul junk. That's all I've used it for since I got it. It's got real high sides and it's perfect for just throwing a bunch of crap in and taking it without everything falling out on the way to the scrapyard. But anyhow, um, yeah, so I'm done for right now. We're going to pause this again. I'm going to go pick up the stuff. I may stop and get a quick haircut and then I'll be back.
using Lucas SAE 75 130 gear oil synthetic trans and different. We're using this in our trans. so that when it expands it should be right even with this maybe a little higher I don't know no it shouldn't be it should never be where it comes out I don't think but anyways either way regardless of where it's at what it's supposed to do later it's on the level mark right now according to specs so we're gonna get ready to go up there now and do this whole thing in revert and not in really in reverse, but the same thing to the transmission. Let's see if we can get it all back in, in. Which ought to be great fun. And the Amazon guy just came and dropped off a new wiper motor, which I don't know if I had a video of it, but what would happen is the motor would just, it would run, then it might stop, wipers would do this number then they may stop for quite a while and then start moving and the other day I was driving it and it wasn't a steady rain but it was just a steady drizzle so I actually had to turn them off and then just reach down and turn it on and then back off drive a little bit turn it on and turn it back off because if you just left it on it would just run and then they may stop in the middle of the windshield then they go down and they jerk around and it was just a huge pain in the butt so i don't know how hard this is going to be to change i'm sure it's not going to be a lot of fun i'm probably going to take all of this stuff off unless i can get in when i take the motor loose i may be able to pull it out far enough to put the keeper on that off of that one and onto that one but we will get to that in just a second i just saw where the antenna was loose so we're gonna put a little oomph on it that's probably enough Now we're going to try to replace this wiper motor. Hopefully, like I said, I can pull that out and take the clip off that way. If not, 
It's gonna be bad. Yeah, that's just right that way. I don't know if you've ever taken these arms off before, but here's the quick way to do it. You lift this up, it holds the arm off of the windshield, and then you just work it off. Boom. Because otherwise you're fighting against this constantly being sprung downward. It can be done, but it's a royal pain. Let's open it back up. I don't want to scratch the paint. And more than already is. Passenger side on the ground. Oh, there went my wash, my sprayer. It broke. Of course it did. It don't work anyways. Let's put something under this and hold it up. How about a brick? Put a brick under it? Sure. far enough out of the way now. Yep, now we can get that wiper motor out of there. May have to change the battery again. Lock up. Son of a gun. There's this 
sprayer that no longer works. And what in the heck are them? Oh. Those probably are 10 millimeter. Breaking on. Damn it. And that's a major ground I'm going to need. Fantastic. I'm to put that back on. And I bet you that under there is a 10 millimeter. Yep, it's a 10. <sighs> Maybe I can bend that up enough to get to it since I can't get the screws out.
feel it. Just can't see it. Pause it right there, find the screwdriver to get that clip off. Then I can put the cowl, cowl back on it. And the million screws that goes with it. And then wipers, arms, and test her out. It should work though. Unless the switch is bad, but I don't think so. This is a heat shrink fitting, but I'm going to let the engine heat shrink it. Get a little dielectric grease with them plugs. Not time to go get another tub of this stuff or tube of it. This one's just about empty, I believe. Be nice to have a wiper back again. Of course, now I don't have a windshield washer, but I can always stop at the gas station. Okay, now let's take all these tools out of the way. And just throw them randomly in boxes they don't belong in. Yeah. And then we're gonna lower, put this back where it goes. I have to lower the hood back down. But it always runs super cool. Okay, let's check the hood. We'll put the wipers on. And we'll see what it's gonna do. I need to put that back in the truck before I forget it and lose it. And the antenna. This one goes on this side. What? 
Hang on. You gotta finish putting my truck back together. What you need, baby? Oh, you got your hair in a bun. All right. Dead blow hammer, smack them on there. Actually, what I need to do before I do that, I'm gonna put a little squirt of grease on them too. Just so they'll be a little easier to get off next time. You don't even need the hammer. guys I guess that's gonna be it for this video I made a mess of my shop but I've got the transmission fluid changed out I've got the rear diff cleaned out resealed and that fluid changed out I got the new wiper motor on and we're ready to go down the road again for a little while um, I was gonna say on one of my other videos I don't know if I ever mentioned it but I've got a company that's sending me a it's actually an oil transfer pump 12 volt oil transfer pump they sent me an email a week or so ago i wanted to do a collaboration video they said they'd send me the pump for free i get to test it out make a video put the link for the pump a link for their company i think it's an amazon store and they would promote my video on there and give me full credit which i don't know how this whole thing works i kind of have an idea I told them, yeah, I'd do it. They sent me an email this morning, which they were out of town for some something, and they said they'd be back, and they'd email me on the 18th, which they did. So I said, yep, let's go ahead and do it. They're going to send me kind of a little brief thing of how to do the video and what to say, what not to say, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully in the next few days to a week, depending on how long it takes for them to send me the pump, we'll be doing that and maybe start getting this ball rolling on my channel get it built up some more maybe even lead to more reviews and hopefully it's all stuff that revolves around what i do you know will it run videos and mechanical stuff welding things stuff like that so with that being said thanks for watching i will see you guys later and there's my daughter hey lucy you want a hug okay we'll come get one and uh, we will see y'all on the next one. I love you. Okay. Go play with Jeep. All right. All right, guys. Later.